In addition to asking questions about the attribute or tabular data attached to each of the points, lines, and polygons in our GIS data layer, we can also ask questions related to location. If we were to just look at our zip code level data here, these are zip codes for the state of North Carolina. You can see our attributes have nothing to do with location. So if we were to do high-scale crime analysis to look for the number of uh, crimes within a certain distance of a school, there will not be an attribute about the crime that says distance to the school or the particular county, tract, or zip code that it's located within. So as we move our mouse around here, you can see in the middle, it's got real-world lo real world location attached to it so that we can do real-world calculations. And these are just a couple examples of this. Now, looking at our ArcGIS Pro interface, we can see up in the top here, we've got our select, and we can actually just do selections right here where we select uh, a subset of, of counties or attributes, uh, counties and zip codes based on a polygon, lasso, circle, line, or some sort of uh, trace operation. We can do select by attributes but that we've looked at previously that ask questions about the uh, database. I can clear those as well. And then I can look at select by location. In this particular case right here, I'm going to look at the number of zip codes that are within a particular distance of a large city. These large cities are highlighted in these blue dots. So maybe we can do some you know, relationships to see or hypothesis testing to see if there is a certain relationship between COVID rates and distance from a particular uh, large city. So what I have here for my input features is going to be zip codes, but voting data, that's the name of this particular uh, feature class in this case. I want to say within a distance of. Major cities. So I'm looking for zip codes within a distance of major cities. And when I go to this drop down, I have a number of different relationships here. I can have intersect within, completely within, or whatnot. Some of these inter some of these uh, relationships are going to make sense, such as zip codes within a distance of a point, but in other cases, they may not. If we're looking for points that intersect with other points, that's going to be very hard since they need to be coincident points that have the same exact latitude and long longitude with very, very high precision. Now here, under search distance, I'm going to type in 25 miles. And so I have kilometers meters, decimeters, miles, degrees, or whatnot. So make sure you, you pick the right spatial relationship because there's a difference between a meter and a mile and a degree. And when I click OK, you can see what we look at here. So basically, all of these zip codes happen to be within 25 miles of these large cities that we're looking at here. And so we can see there's 322 of these here. So if we wanted to, we could do some hypothesis testing so that we can right mouse click. We can look at statistics. And so now we can see the, the average is 821 for our selection versus the entire data set, which is 816. So in this particular case, we can see that within our selection here, it's a little bit higher. The average COVID rate in this case is a little bit higher than for our entire data set. Now, if we were to run a uh, test of two means and see if they were statistically different, I would imagine they're not. But you can see this is a really powerful tool in addition to the statistics looking at the, the shape and the complexion of this uh, particular histogram. So we have this particular relationship here. I'm going to X out of these. And then I'm going to go up to the top and clear. Another thing, I'm going to focus solely in on Wake County here. And so there's a couple ways that I can pick Wake County. If I happen to know what Wake County is, I can just highlight it right here. But in another instance, I might want to look it up if I don't know exactly where it is. I can go all the way to the bottom, alphabetize it, click on Wake County, and there it is as well. Or if I really wanted to, I believe I could label the features, and look for Wake County. But nonetheless, what I want to do is find all the zip codes that are that intersect with Wake County. So instead of within a distance, we're going to look at intersect. Now, in particular, this particular instance, I'm going to click on Select by Location. I'm going to look for zip codes that intersect 
with counties. Now, this version of ArcGIS is pretty smart in terms of it knows that we're going to look for this particular selecting feature. Because if I were to look for every single zip code that intersected with every single county, basically the result would be every single zip code in the state of North Carolina. But it's all that I selected here. In ArcMap, our previous versions of ArcGIS, there was a little button here that said use selected features. Here, it's implied. So I'm going to click Apply. And now you can see every single zip code. And you can see all the 41 zip codes. And these are all 41 zip codes right here. And I can look at the COVID rates or whatever I'm doing as part of my hypothesis testing. Now, the one problem about this, the facts out of this is, well, you see that they overrun or they go outside into the uh, other counties. I just want to look for the zip codes entirely within Wake County. And so I can run this select by location again. Zip codes, voting data. Let's look at, look at my selecting features. It's going to be NC County since Wake County is still selected. So instead of intersect completely within, so I'm going to look for zip codes and I can look for multiple features, you know, cities or whatnot that are completely within my selected counties. I don't need to apply search distance. I'm going to click apply. So now you notice the difference between these. So I went from 41. If I'm able to open it right here, you can see I moved down to 17. Just by one little, changing one little relationship in my drop down. And so now I can look at my statistics right here. Move this out of my way here. And now you can see within Wake County, all of the zip codes entirely within Wake County have a COVID rate in this case in April of 2021 of 754 versus 816. And we can run our hypothesis testing. I'm not sure what it's going to show since we have a really small sample size here. But you can see what these numbers look like. So as you can see, you know, the, the power and value of GIS is that we have attributes and it doesn't tell us the distance from these, but this particular, since it has real world location with it, it allows us to find and calculate spatial relationships between different feature classes, such as cities, counties, and zip codes that we've been looking at here.